really thankful to be here today and to be able to speak to you about some of the things that I am passionate about. Um, as you might have already read in my bio, I am passionate about social justice education and making college accessible for more students of color. And so if you too are passionate about a social justice issue, I'm going to be talking about the recognition and action that needs to happen within us in order to create change. Um, I'm gonna be looking down sometimes and just wanted to let you know. <laughs> So if you are passionate about social justice and creating change, then you need to have the courage to recognize and identify your privilege. Some of us hold more privilege than others, but at the end of the day, we all have the power to use it for good. Um, we need to be critical of our own identities and the privilege that comes with some of those identities. While some of us uh, so while some of my identities are oppressed and discriminated against, there are other identities that provide privilege to me. We have to ask ourselves, how does my gender, sexuality, skin color, level of education, socioeconomic status, religion, language, immigration status, etc., grant me privilege? Why do we have to recognize this? We have to recognize those identities because they carry power. Therefore, we have the ability to use that power to create change. My sexuality, skin color, and education are some of the identities that grant me privilege in certain situations. <laughs> I am cisgender, meaning I identify with the sex I was assigned to at birth, and I am romantically and sexually attracted to the opposite sex. Due to this, I do not have to worry about how my family and the people around me will treat me when they meet my significant other. This occurs in my community, but also even outside of my community. My immigration and Latinx identities are constantly being targeted, yet I acknowledge that within my own community, I hold privilege because of the medium tone of my, my skin color. Anti-blackness exists in my community. Afro-Latinos are seen as the other. They face discrimination and oppression in and outside of my community. Attending college and a university like Elon is privilege. Receiving a scholarship is almost impossible for the undocumented population that exists in my community, including in many communities, including mine. Odyssey gave me the opportunity many Latinx students and people of color are excluded from. Having a space like this to share my story and having people to listen is also a privilege. These are just a few of the privileges some of my identities possess. This does not mean my experience as a person of color in a country where racism exists has been easy. But I have learned that using these privileges will allow me to create the change that I want to see. Privilege is hard to recognize because it blinds us and protects us from the hardships and injustices so many people face. The privileges we possess come along with a responsibility. We have to use it for good Otherwise, our conformity and lack of action will contribute to and perpetuate injustice. My privilege is the power I, I have to make a difference. The hardships I have faced are a reminder of why I'm here. This is why I have to take advantage of the opportunities I have been granted. I'm here for everyone who came before me and for everyone that, came, that will come after me. The world may try to stop us and bring us down, but giving up is not an option for me. I am doing this for my future students, my community, my family, and myself. Now it is your turn to ask yourself, what am I doing with my privilege and how will I use it to uplift others? What could I do to make a difference in the future of a little girl who, like me, thought she would never make it to college. Thank you.